Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's Get to Know webinar for the ProPoint Pixel and the ProPoint Sconce families. My name is Mark Permain, and I'm the Product Manager for Traxon EU. I will be moderating the session today, and I will also answer any questions you may have during the presentation in the chat box. Today's session will be presented by my colleague, Aykut Gurinch, Project Sales Manager for our European sales team located in the Turkey region. You can ask any questions in the Q&A chat box, if this is not visible to you, please click on the question mark at the top of your screen. You can also ask anonymously if you so wish. So please feel free to ask anything. Today's session will be recorded and will be available after the presentation on the Tracks and Technologies YouTube channel. In addition, we will send you a link to the recording for your future use after the session. That's all from me for the moment. So now I'll hand over to Aykut. Thank you, Mark. Hello, everyone. My name is Aykut Kivanch, and today I'm going to introduce you to two of our ProPoint family products, ProPoint Pixel and the ProPoint Scones. Now let's start with ProPoint Pixel. What is ProPoint Pixel? ProPoint Pixel is an AC line powered high brightness exterior illuminating, which is controllable via DMX and has capability of RDM uh, remote device management. The product has one standard housing, which can be combined with five different cover lenses. And in the coming slides, you will get more information about the differences of these cover lenses. As it is a dot which gives super high lumen output, ProPoint Pixel can be used in different ways. At left picture, you can uh, you see that it can be used in direct view position to increase long distance viewability of a tower or you can use it in a bridge where you can need high durability. ProPoint Pixel can also be used in indirect view position to illuminate surfaces. Here at left, you see the Yas Marina Hotel where the glass roof is being illuminated with small color changing luminaries. Or you can use it in direct view position again to create strobe effects on your building like the Eiffel Tower has. It can create an effect like a star. Traxon has a large portfolio for pixel dot products, so here I want to show you the size difference of ProPoint Pixel with other dot families, Allegro and Archishape dots. Here you can see a dot from the Allegro family, and here at my left hand side you see a dot from the Archishape series. Even though they have similar sizes, the dome of the Allegro is a lot bigger. But when we compare it with the dome of ProPoint Pixel, you will understand that there's a huge difference in between them. When compared, ProPoint Pixel has a bigger housing and it gives up to 26 times more light output than the others. The key features of the product are it has one pieces of minimum order quantity. It has five years warranty and works between 120 to 277 volts AC. Total power is 20 watt. It is DMX controlled with RDM capability and it is ANSI 3G test reported for vibrations. Against the tough weather conditions, product has IP66 protection level and it is also suitable to use at coastal environments. All types has IK10 durability and it can be operated between minus 30 Celsius and plus 50 Celsius. Cover lenses are all UV stable polycarbonate. Approximate weight is 1.4 kilogram and the body material is die cast aluminum. ProPoint Pixel family has a lot of options which you can choose. For the LED color options, RGB white version has a 4000 Kelvin individually controlled white LED on it, uh, and it has four separate con controllable channels. The dynamic white version changes CCT between 2200 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, and it has two controllable channels. For the white CCTs, standard products are 3000 Kelvin and 4000 Kelvin and this version has one controllable channel. Upon custom requests, white CCT options and amber colors are also available. 
For the housing color options, product has three standard finishes, gray, black, and white. On the request of custom finishes, please just contact us. As told before, ProPoint Pixel has five different cover lenses. Now let's start with clear cover lens and check the properties. Here, the fixer that I have is currently with clear version. When you look at so closely, you will see the LED directly itself. This type is suitable for video effects and dot lighting effects for high buildings and long distances. The advantage of this diffuser is it has extremely low loss of light. The cover material is 2 mm UV stable polycarbonate. Viewability from distance is very high and it has high intensity. If you want to illuminate a surface, this version may be suitable to use as it has 95 degrees beam angle and high lumen output. Or if you want to have more visibility of the light, even from long distances, this option can be suitable in indirect view position. It has 632 lumen output for RGB white. The diffused version has a wider beam and it comes with that diffuser. It is 110 degree, uh, it has 110 degree beam angle. This type is suitable for video effects and dot lighting effects for medium and high level buildings. The advantage of this diffuser is it has reduced glare with low loss of light. The cover material is again 2 mm UV stable polycarbonate. Viewability from distance is very high and it has good uniformity. The fixture has 585 lumen output for RGB white version. The diffuse dome version is like a half globe, as you see in my hand. It has even light distribution and it's suitable for dot lighting video effects from low level to high levels of a building. The cover material is again 2 mm UV stable polycarbonate. Viewability from distance is medium and it has very good uniformity. Total lumen output is 460 lumens for RGB white. The diffuse drum version has a shape of cylinder with a bump at the front side. The front bump also has grids on it, so it can distribute the light more. It has even light distribution and it is suitable for dot lighting effects for medium and high level buildings. The advantage of this cover lens is it is also uh, a light effect uh, with ver vertical viewing. The cover material for this version is 2.5 mm and it's still UV stable polycarbonate, so it cuts the light a bit more than the dome and the prism versions. Viewability from distance is medium and it has good uniformity. Total lumen output for this diffuser is 402 lumens for RGB white. The last version is the diffuse prism version, and this has a cover lens shaped as a squarish cone. Here you can see it more clearly, I guess. The front side is smooth from the inside, but it also has grids on the inside. The sides have prisms also on the inside and the outside. It is suitable for dot lighting video effects for medium and high level buildings. The cover material is 2 mm UV stable polycarbonate. Viewability from distance is medium and it has good uniformity. Total lumen output is 460 lumens for RGB white. Here in this technical drawings, you can see the shapes of the different versions. The first technical drawing is for clear and diffused flat versions. The second drawing is for diffused dome. The third one is diffused drum and 
The last one is diffuse prism. Here in the presentation, we also have included the pictures of the uh, diffuser lenses, so you can uh, you can see them more clearly. Now I want to show you how they are looking like when they are illuminated. As our pro point pixel is very very high uh, lumen output, this is just 25% lumen output by the way at the moment. Uh, to show it in the camera, I have to I, ha I had to dim it. This is the clear version as previously shown. Now I will show it with the flat diffused version. You see the light source, I mean the LEDs are less visible with that one and the distribution is even. If you use it with diffused dome from the front side, you can still, still see the LED sources, but when you check it from the sides, it is quite homogeneous. And if you check it with diffuse drum version, yeah, it has very even light distribution at the sides, but even if you look very close with it, you don't see any light sources on it. And the last version is the diffuse prism one. Here it looks like more crystal and it has got a better light effect for white colors especially. So if you want to have a strobe effect or uh, a crystal effect, I think is this drum is going to be better. Regarding the installation, the product is delivered with two cables on it. One for the power input and the other is for DMX and RDM input and output. Up to 32 devices, Pro Points can be connected in daisy chain topology. This daisy chain topology eliminates the need for data injectors. The AC and data cables can be connected with uh, outsourced IP pro protected uh, junction boxes but to use inside these junction boxes, we have an optional accessory, the Pro Point Termination Kit, which is also used to connect the DMX cables. Regarding the DMX features of the Pro Point Pixel, if you power up the fixture with no DMX data, then it will illuminate at full output. If you power up the fixture with DMX data, then it will respond according to the DMX values. And if you lose DMX signal after DMX connection, then the ProPoint pixel will hold the last valid DMX values until a new signal is received. It is also important to know which RDM sensors we have in this fixture. We have the sensors for LED driver temperature, LED driver voltage, LED driver current, and the fixture power. So you can report this details periodically if you want. The technical documents available on the website are flyers and specification sheets, lighting files, IS and the LTD, technical drawings, Revit and the CAD file. And we also have the manuals, installation guide, mounting guide and wiring diagrams. If you need more documents or information regarding this product, please contact us. And now let me introduce you to ProPoint Scones. Here in my hand, you see a small version of ProPoint Scones. But what is ProPoint Scones? ProPoint Scones is designed for form and function, and it offers a tight controlled grazing solution to exterior applications where the light source will be visible. The sleek design works in both traditional and contemporary architecture and it is ideal for facades. You can use it to illuminate pathways, columns and other architectural features. The SCOS is an AC line powered luminary which is controllable via DMX RDM or also available in on and off version 
for more simple installations where you don't need any control. It has a very small size and you can use it to illuminate columns which has a width less than 30 centimeters and up to 10 meters high. ProPoint scones comes in diff three different sizes. The key features of the product are, it has one piece of minimum order quantity, it has five years warranty and works between 120 to 277 volts AC. It is DMX controlled with RDM capability, or you can also select the on-off version and it is ANSI 3G test, test reported for vibrations. Against the tough weather conditions, product has IP66 protection level and it is also suitable to use at cost level Romans. All types are IK08 durability reported and top cover lenses tempered glass. It can be operated between minus 30 Celsius and plus 50 Celsius. Body material is diecast aluminium. ProPoint Scones family has a lot of options which you can choose. For the lead color options, standard products are 3000 Kelvin, 4000 Kelvin, red, green, and blue. Upon custom requests for white CCT options and amber, they are also available. For the housing color, product has three standard finishes, gray, black, and white. On request of custom finishes, please contact us. Here we wanted to make a size comparison uh, about three different sizes. The thickness of the fixture is nearly the same for all types. Small version is 120, medium version 123, and large version is 145. This is including the bracket. The width of the fixture differs from small to large. Small version is 150 mm, medium version is 190 mm, and large version is 237 mm. Small version has 3, medium has 5, and large version has 9 LEDs. The weight of the sizes are small 1.4 kg, medium 1.7 kg, and large 2.4 kg. Here you can see more details about the small version here. Total power is 9 watt and it gives 300 lumen at 4000 Kelvin. The product series offer one beam angle for all models and it is 10 by 5. All types are 90 degree tiltable. Thanks to its size, small version can illuminate Every detail, which has a width less than 20 cm and height up to 5 meters. You can see the light distribution in this picture at the right hand side. The medium version has 5 LEDs on it and it can, it can illuminate details, which has a width less than 20 cm and height up to 8 meters. Total power is 15 watt and it gives 520 lumens at 4000 Kelvin. The last and the, big, the biggest version has nine LEDs on it and it can illuminate details, which has a width less than 25 centimeter and height up to 10 meters. Total power is 24 watts and it gives 880 lumen at 4000 Kelvin. Regarding the installation, actually it's very similar to ProPoint Pixels. The product is delivered with two cables for DMX version, one for power input and the other one is RDM and DMX output and input. The on-off version is coming just with AC power in cable. Up to 32 pieces of ProPoint scones you can connect in daisy chain topology for DMX versions and the AC and data cables can be connected with IP protected junction boxes. Again, for the DMX connection, you can provide ProPoint termination kit if you want. Regarding the DMX features of scones, if you power up the fixture with no DMX data, then it will illuminate at full output. If you power up the fixture with DMX data, then it will respond according to the DMX values. And if you lose DMX signal after DMX connection, 
then the probability scores will hold the last valid DMX values until a new signal is received. We have the same sensors that we have for the pro point pixel. The LED driver temperature uh, sensor, the driver voltage sensor, the LED driver current sensor, and the fixture power sensor are inside pro point scores. The technical documents are also available on the website. We have the flyers, specification sheets, IS and the LTD files, Revit and the CAD files for the drawings. And we also have the installation guides, mounting guides and wiring diagrams. If you need more documents, please contact us. Thank you, Mark. Thank you guys for listening to us. So if you have any questions, now we are ready to listen it. Thank you, Ike. That was an excellent presentation. Uh, it's now time for a short Q&A session. Um, we'll just review any questions that have been asked during the presentation. Uh, if you've not asked any questions at this point, you would like to do so, please use the chat box and uh, ask away. So the first question that we've had from Henning, can you order lenses as a spare part and swap them on site? Uh, no, this is not currently an option. We sell the Luminaire as a complete unit, including the diffuser. Uh, for the purposes of the demonstration today, we've shown you the lenses, uh, so you get a real understanding of the engineering inside and outside of the lenses. So we'll just wait a few moments to see if there's any other questions. OK, seems like there's no more questions coming through. So uh, I'd like to say thank you for joining today's session on the ProPoint Pixel and the ProPoint Scots. Hope you found it uh, very informative. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you again on our next session, the Media Pixel Ribbon and ProPoint Console Rhythm. If you don't want to miss any future Get to Know sessions, please feel free to register for our newsletter by scanning the QR code on our newsletter page here. Once again, thanks for joining us today and have a great day. Thanks very much.